Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a weekend video. Now, this one's going to be focused on King Groot. And yes, I have rank 3 a 6 star King Groot with 200 signatures. Doing the content creator beta does give this really nice uh, availability to rank up certain champions and just, just check out their viability down the line. It doesn't mean I condone rank 3 in a 6 star version of King Groot. But it's just interesting to see and feel the extent of damage potential that the champion has. And we'll be testing it out in a, a few kind of areas, but especially with the uh, Sasquatch synergy and as well pairing that together with the previous synergy we did in a previous video. But just seeing the extent of damage output and maybe as well the extent of regeneration that will be got from investing into a 6 star rank 3 King Groot. This is funny. So this is the team that's set up. It is all about having Sasquatch in first and foremost with giant challenges. So that uh, start the fight with three paused personal furies. Man Thing is in in order to support with his uh, start the fight with two additional furies and gain two additional furies when exiting cooldown state, which is very important for maximizing damage output. Uh, Namor's in there and uh, and Hulk's in there. I could pair it with some others as well. It doesn't really have to be about that. Uh, it's just something to add to the three that are the most important. King Groot, Sasquatch and Man Thing for those synergies. It's kind of handy as well because some of them have like elements of, well, one's got bleed immunity, one's got poison immunity. You know, there's, there's different um, aspects of interest from that synergy and great because there's two mystics and one uh, cosmic if you are just using those three and when, when it comes to like some content and the way that Kabam have built some previous stuff it's a case that you really needed to have uh, you know champions that were of three if we're taking that Canadian difficulty then it was definitely very interesting to see how that was created now they're gonna see oh man the, we'll go over like the stats in a minute for numbers but like I, I'm just expecting as soon as we enter exit the cooldown that there's going to be like a massive amount of uh, like damage potential from those Furies if they, you know, stay on and stuff. I mean, it's good damage numbers now. I must admit as well, the AI is something to worry about. So I'm playing this really cautiously. I think a lot of players are, at the point of recording this video, the AI troubles are frustrating. And like even now, if I was to move out, granted, I would know that the champion would hit out. That was a good intercept there. But that's like what I'm, what I'm seeing at the moment. You've got to be so cautious. And, and careful with the AI. Uh, it's it's just it's just not good at the moment uh, by any standpoint. Okay, and I I don't really like the special bar too much. Any case, right? There, there's good get damage potential so far. 43 hits to do a minimum amount of percentage damage isn't something overly impressive. And I was expecting to see some big numbers, but it, it's just not there. However, the, like you're gonna see some amazing amount of regen. I do want to take some damage in a moment. Uh, but I just want to get some damage ramped up. And as well, those armor breaks. Kind of important for me to do a lot more of the armor breaks. But you can see now we've stacked nine Furies. Very nice to see that. But that's going to go because I want to, for these long hit pull or health fights, is to hit in with the armor breaks. Get them stacked up nicely. Uh, but I do want to test out the regeneration. So let's get hit now. Whilst we've got regeneration on, let's get, let's get hit. Right? That's the point. Getting hit. I want to see what the regen's ticking like, especially when we go through the cooldown. So as you see, I'm just going to get hit a few times and uh, continue on being hit. Get down to, there we go, 89% health. Now we're back in again, stacking up those armor breaks. And if you're looking for a shrug off option, uh, then uh, King Groot is your man. Uh, I see that Brian Grant is repping on the, um, on the King Groot. So uh, it's always good to see a fan for my boy. And as you can see now, the regeneration is so, so nice. If, yeah, if you, do you want massive damage output? No. Is this going to be a champion? Uh, no. But this synergy means for something that is, uh, it's going to be helpful. Man, this AI is just bugging me as well. Because like, I'm being so cautious, man. So cautious. But look, there we go. There's the numbers I want to see. Um, just a good example that of the enemy just like, am I going to hit you whilst you're doing absolutely nothing? No, uh, you're not going to do that. Let's see how much the poison damage is. If I can keep this uh, SP2 and see how this stacks up in a minute. So we go for the parry. Hit once, hit in, and uh, what are we ticking at? We're ticking at 2k a time. Nice. That is some nice poison damage. I really rate that. 
Uh, let's see if we can put another armor break on, up to six. I think that's the point now it's... Um, I didn't look at the timing, because I think there's a limit, isn't there? There's a limit, I'm going to say, of five that you can put on. But we did tick over to the regeneration, which is just, I'm constantly at 100% health. So I love this. I, I really do. We're up to now 10 Furies. Let's see what this SP2 can do. With the crits, that is. Not a huge amount of crits, that's still terrible. And I think it was meant it's meant to be two or maybe one Fury gets absorbed. And I think it's at that point when I got loads of Furies on, it's just to attack, attack, attack. I don't know if a mastermind synergy, so the amount of uh, combos would be helpful for this, but still, it is nice. I do like seeing a rank three six star uh, King Groot, and yeah, if you've got if you've got one and you've got it heavily awakened, and I'm sure there's probably a 200 signature King Groot out there. Uh, I can imagine there's a 200 signature five star version. I think Brutal DLX had one for a time, and it's a good champion to work with uh, Suicide Masteries. Uh, especially with that extensive regeneration just means that you're just going to be ticking back uh, like lots of it, lots of uh, regeneration. Yeah, I, I do enjoy this. Yes, it wasn't a case we were seeing excessive amounts of damage, excessive amounts of, um, of, of potential from, say, going, oh, can I do this in about 30 hits? No, you can't. No, it's not going to be the case. But if you want a champion that down the line is going to be just in a full force, Having the Sasquatch synergy, the Man Thing synergy as well, does mean that this is extremely fun. And that's the thing. I ended that fight with 100% health, with minimal effort. Yes, the AI is a bit scuffy at the moment, but that's just how it goes. Uh, in any case, like that's just been a video just showcasing that. But yeah, if you want any more kind of deep dives on on places you can actually use King Groot, you can you can just look all over. As I said, Suicide Masteries very friendly with uh, with that. Uh, Bleed Immune, great. And different areas from uh, Act 6 in places. I wouldn't say in everywhere that you'd be able to use it. Definitely on the monthly quest. Uh, there was some, there's going to be some definite viability for taking taking them in as a high signature. Just to, like clear through things. With Cavalier difficulty, I would say that it would... Down the line, I think a champion like that would do very, very well against it. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd put together a video showcasing... A rank three six star King Groot. Uh, not a huge amount on the attack. Lots of health, forty eight thousand health. Not as much as uh, many others. And uh, unyielding might. Um, but even though obviously it's signature dependent, it's still close to ten k. And you know Hulk Buster only does that once uh, through a battle. Low health. You know, gets this is a constant. So I absolutely love that. Uh, and and yeah, like the damage potential isn't there. But yeah, if he gets a buff down the line, and especially with that synergy, oh, look out, guys, because he is going to be an absolute machine. And that's been a video on King Groot here on the uh, the content creator beta. Thanks for watching, and um, see you very soon. Bye-bye for now.